So hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In the last video, we have talked about the button and the on press event. In this video, I'm going to talk about state in React Native. So let's get started. So let me open my VS Code quickly. So in the last video, I also asked you a question like while we updating the variable name, why it's not reflecting on the UI, but in the console, we are getting the updated value, right? You can see here, like you know, in the last example, we have assigned a value let 8 is equal to 10 and whenever user click on the button we are calling a function on press event uh, and we are consoling that value but you know what is happening but it's just uh it's just showing 20 okay but in the ui it's not reflecting as a 20 why so this is happening like you know we have to use use state hook so let's understand about the use state hook so first question come up in our mind mind like what is use state so use state is a hook okay that is provided by react it's not a part of react native it's part of react and react native uses react okay for the state management so let's understand about the use state hook so first uh, use state return in array okay so how we have to import the use state we have to import the use state from the react like this and use state takes the initial value so i could be define initial value as a null or empty string and it return two parameter the first one is called state okay so let me assign as a name and the second parameter is called dispatcher function which is help us to update the value of that state so it is it usually start with a set so set name okay now after that uh, let me comment this code now I have to let me create a one uh, okay let me remove all the things from the UI okay perfect now we have assigned a name and let me assign the initial values name is side like coder for now and I'm going to create a one text component okay and the text will value have a name okay uh, we can see name okay awesome now whenever we uh you know i want that uh i want a one button you know that will update the value uh, of the this value as a set name okay so i'm going to call another i'm going to create a one function called handle update okay handle update update name okay now i'm calling this function handle update name now let me create a function which will update the name basically okay now what we want whenever user click on that it will update as a uh, zero degree colder okay so basically uh, you know i'm talking about like you know we have imported the user state from react okay user state is a hook that is used to manage the state okay it's written on two parameter the first parameter is called initial state state and the second parameter is called dispatcher state or update state okay so uh, now we are showing a name like this on this text component you can see here coder let me style it much more bigger in the last session we have seen the basic styling so we have to write a style and open two curly braces and we can define font size we don't have to write pixel we have to just type the value so i have to make it 15 okay now let's see uh, it's not looking too, too well let me make it 25 and i'm getting some issue with the uh, prettier uh yeah awesome now we can see a font size is bigger size perfect now if i click on handle update the funs if i click on the button the function will get called handle update name and it will update the value as a zero degree coder let's see awesome so how it's happening basically react uh, whenever we update the value of user state it update the value and re-render the dome or render the ui with the uh using the uh, reconciliation algorithm okay and that's why it's reflecting on the ui but whenever we are updating the state using the variable that is not causing a re-render on the ui so if i you know if i just make a one thing like if i console dot uh, one right now so whenever the component get uh you know render first time 
if I just consoling a one, so you can see that the value is coming as a zero degree coder, right? And if I again click on click me, so it will again call this function warning. You can see warning. So why this is happening? So basically, the console will execute a run every time whenever the component or whenever the state get update. But if we update the value of any variable, so it will not update. And that is the uh, basic uh, fund of hook or use state hook so in sort of simpler manner we can say that use state is a hook which is used to manage the state because the is name tell use state use state okay so basically use state hook is used to manage the state okay i think that's all about the use state hooks uh if I go, so what is state we have seen like state is something where we store some value example if state we have seen already and how to update the state we can update the state using the set function and different person is state and variable uh, whenever we update the value of a state it will update on the UI but whenever we update the value of a variable it will not reflect on the UI okay and yeah and like you know whatever we have to update the value like let's suppose i want to make it uh hey champ so we have to just pass that parameter to that so it will you know make that update that value i think that's it man uh nothing else in the next video i'm going to talk about the props in react native okay see you in the next session uh, thank you bye